Hey, Larry. I know this guy. We went to high school together. Real hot shot, fancy law school. Thought he was really something just because I didn't go to Harvard. There ain't nothing wrong with the GED, baby. Not so hot anymore, are you, fella? Not after Larry's finished with you. I think we're looking at some real money, baby. We have got to pounce, you know what I'm saying? No more sitting around. We've been taking these low-level jobs long enough. Not anymore, no sir. Time to go for the big leagues, you know what I mean? I mean, no more ambulance chasing. We gotta strike while the iron's hot. You know what's hot right now? Texting and driving, driving and texting. Judges will take our side any day of the week. This is actually the future of injury cases, I guarantee you. DOI is a thing of the past. <laughs> Are you listening? It didn't look to me like you was listening. What's the golden goose? Texting and driving, driving and texting, Larry, I heard you. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Well, if that's the case, then why am I still on minimum wage? Honey, you lack conviction. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Let's talk about that later. Did you get a hold of the hospital? Of course I did. All right. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is the one. This is the one we've been waiting for, honey pie. Mm -hmm. This is going to take us places. Forget the Bahamas. I'm going to shuck and jive. They are not going to see Larry coming. Bang, zoom, I'm out of here. Can I help you? I'm Benjamin. Yeah, I know who you are. You're the one who did this to my little girl. Yes. I'm the attorney for the parents. Anything you have to say to them, you can say to me. Yeah, I'm here for their protection. I, I just wanted to see if there's anything I can You'll do. You'll find no catharsis here. Oh, are we okay here? We're all right. What you have done to this poor child is unforgivable. Now, I'm going to need you both to give this family some space. We'll see you in court. Are those even real? Thanks anyway. I'm so, so sorry. Mm -hmm. what you... Honey. I don't enjoy doing this. It's the worst part of my job. If we don't handle this now, we'll regret it down the road, and so will your family. This will ensure that I can protect your rights when things get ugly. What do you mean, ugly? This isn't your first time through this. You know what those hospital bills look like. Is it fair to your wife that you leave her without a roof over her head? Well, this, this guy was insured, and, and we're not vindictive. We don't sue. Yeah, but even the Bible says that the shepherd needs to protect his flock from the wolves. And right now, the wolves are, are knocking at your door. Yeah, well, what do you get out of this? Oh, no, sir. No, sir, I don't take an upfront fee. I get paid when you get paid. I just want to see you blessed. What a workman is worthy of his wages. I know you can attest to that. Right now, though, <clears throat> my number one priority is to make sure your family is not left high and dry. Yeah, uh, but look, I'm, I'm still on the fence about this. Okay. Okay, but look, the aggressor here, don't forget, works at one of the largest law firms in the state. We can sue the company as well for uh, gross negligence. By, by then, we're in the seven, eight figures easily. Look, I, I know what you're thinking, but I have a philosophy. From the Bible, in uh, 1 Timothy 6.10, it's not money that's evil. It's the love of money. The Bible actually says that. You've got to just keep it in its right place. Yeah, I hear you. Good, good. I'll get you the uh, contract through email, and we'll take it from there.